Solar farms are an excellent way for landowners to generate consistent income and maximize the potential of unused land. However, not every piece of land is suitable to host a solar garden, which begs the question, where is the best place to build a solar farm to maximize your revenue and impact? That's what we're covering today, so stick around. Welcome back everyone, I'm Diego and this is Going Solar with Pivot Energy where we cover all things solar energy, commercial solar, solar financial incentives and community solar. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. At Pivot, we develop small utility sized projects. This translates to solar farms sized on 10 to 20 acre plots of land. These farms produce clean solar energy that is fed directly into the local energy grid. Through a program known as Community Solar, anyone who pays an electric bill from the utility is eligible to subscribe to the power produced by the solar farm. This includes landowners such as yourself who host one of these solar projects. That's what makes Community Solar so great, is that regardless of home or building ownership status, renters, homeowners, businesses, nonprofits, and more are all able to save money on ever rising utility bills. Additionally, hosting a solar farm on your property provides a steady source of income for 20 or more years while preserving the integrity of the soil and land banking your property for future generations. So we just covered why you should host a solar farm, but where are the best places to host one? Just like in real estate, solar farms are all about location, location, location. Solar farm developers like Pivot Energy and landowners such as yourself have to consider variables like proximity to power lines, commercial development, and residential areas, plus the traditional use of the land and your own personal economic circumstances. Other factors include parcel size, potential for flooding and severe weather, and local restrictions for landowners. For example, the closer a landowner is to a substation, the more likely their site is to be viable for a solar project. Depending on where they are, many family farms struggle with water rights, higher operating costs, and have soil that is becoming increasingly unproductive. Land that used to be farmable and is no longer as productive is actually a good thing for building solar. Some of the best conditions for solar farms are parcels of land that are no longer suitable for agriculture. Rocky, chalky, and dry soil types are suitable conditions for solar panels. The main characteristics that we look for in an ideal solar site is land that has a flat or limited slope clear of major obstructions outside of wetlands close to existing power lines and has access to public roads. The initial term of a solar land lease typically lasts between 20 to 25 years, with many developers offering the option to extend for a total of 40 to 45 years. In many climates, this is enough time for the topsoil on your land to rejuvenate. Once the lease is up, the solar developer will return your land to plantable and developable condition. Give this video a thumbs up if this sounds good to you. Did you know you can also combine agriculture with solar or photovoltaics? This is a practice known as agrivoltaics and it's something that Pivot implements with all of our projects. Since solar panels are self-contained and provide ample shading, it's safe and even beneficial for crops to be planted next to and underneath them. Another bonus is that the shade from the panels allows moisture to be better retained by the soil underneath the array, so crops require significantly less irrigation. Animals can still graze, pollinator habitats flourish, and small critters can come and go as they please with animal-friendly fencing. Make sure to watch our video on sustainable farming and agrivoltaics after this one, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell below so you don't miss future videos like this one. Now that you know the best places to build a solar farm, let's cover a few factors that can prevent or slow down the process. First is flooding potential, and second is the local policy. Before construction starts for a solar project, a flood risk assessment is completed. If the land you plan to develop is at high risk for flooding but is not on a floodplain, the project is unlikely to be approved, though it generally depends on the state's or county's requirements. Additionally, land parcels that are too far away from existing power lines cannot host solar because of the high cost associated with connecting the project to the local utility grid. By the way, some municipalities even have outright bans on solar farms or restrictions that make it a difficult, lengthy process to be approved. Don't worry, in that case, a solar developer like Pivot Energy can consult with you and potentially help get past the roadblocks to constructing your solar farm. More on us later. 
Like I mentioned before, solar is a tool for landowners and farmers to maximize their revenue. A solar lease provides landowners with a steady source of income for decades while protecting them from the variability and unpredictability that often comes with agriculture and land ownership. When you lease your property to a solar developer, you enter into a contract that guarantees regular payments for the duration of the lease period, regardless of soil quality, access to water, or seasonal weather patterns. This is a great way to earn a stable annual income for decades while ensuring that you can pass down your land to the next generation in a process known as land banking. Land banking boosts passive income while simultaneously reducing your labor expenditure. Throughout the duration of your lease, your solo developer assumes all responsibilities associated with financing and maintaining the site. You don't need to worry about anything. Your developer will handle the construction of the system and any ongoing site maintenance. Just sit back and watch the rent roll in. Despite common misconceptions about solar systems, it's worth noting that solar panels make great neighbors. It takes as little as two months for a system to be constructed and creates minimal disruptions to you and your community. As soon as the farm is operational, it produces zero emissions, noise, or additional traffic or light pollution. Plus, solar panels are low profile, so your neighbors can continue to enjoy the beautiful view outside of their windows. Watch this video where we debunk common solar myths and concerns to find out more. Now that you're familiar with the concept of solar farms and what makes a good solar site, you can get started by leasing your land with Pivot Energy. We're a turnkey solar developer with experience developing projects across the country. Pivot is your one-stop shop for solar. We plan, build, and maintain your solar farm for the lifetime of the project. And at the end of the project's lifetime, we recycle or donate a majority of the project's materials and safely dispose of the rest, returning your site to the same or even better condition than when we found it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me using my email listed in the description or leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Head on over to pivotenergy.net to learn more or get started on a free property analysis and watch our video on how to get started with community solar linked below with all the other videos I mentioned today. If you learned something new about solar farms in this video, give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to stay updated on all things commercial solar, community solar, and solar financing. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.